All relationships have ups and downs, and for Jana Kramer and Mike Causen, they have navigated infidelity, addiction, and life with two kids all in the public eye. Now the singer and actress and former NFL tight end are sharing their advice in a new self-help book, The Good Fight. Hey guys, I am so excited to be with you guys today. You know, we've been talking off camera, and I think twice I mentioned that I owe you money for therapy <laughs> because that's what you are, that's what your podcast is, and that's what your incredible new book is. Thank you. Thank we're, you so much. We're, um, we're super excited. I mean, we actually need to make a therapy session um, in yeah. general for us. I think it's been, we're, due it's for been one, we're due for one. So yeah, I mean, we I think we think therapy is great. We like talking about things. We like um, we think over communicating is is a healthy habit. Can you just tell everybody about the title of the book and why you chose that? The Good Fight. Um, so I actually came up with the title. We have fought just so hard for our marriage and, and you know we're still fighting it you know we we say even in the book like you know people are wanting to read this book to not fight like that's not like we encourage people to not fight but healthy ways of fighting we're encouraging the arguments we're encouraging the conflict because we just want to look at it as a as a tool to get closer to each other as opposed to just being disconnected so it's like utilize those arguments because they're inevitable right we can't say you're not going to fight you're going to get along all the time that's just not realistic. So, you know, for people who aren't familiar with your story, and I know you guys are an open book, but what can they expect to read in these pages? You know, we don't shy away from those hard taboo topics that people don't want to talk about, whether it infidelity, whether it addiction, um, mistrust, just there's issues that, you know, every relationship will have with, with communication, and everything and fights to the things that not, that not every relationship will deal with. So, we just, like you said, we are an open book and we don't want to shy away from the things that we've gone through. And we even open up about things that we haven't uh, in, in our podcast or anywhere else that we do in the book. You know, Mike, I'm curious from your perspective, did you have this, this frame of mind pre this relationship? Because, you know, listen, I'm asking for a friend, right? <laughs> because, you know, I am such an emotional person as I think many women are. And a lot of us like, we need to talk about it. So I'm just curious, did that come from, from, from your wife? Or yeah. yeah, I mean, it came from really came from her pushing and just over time, her expressing what she needed in order to connect and grow this relationship. So we got one an argument this morning about me not being able to, you know, to communicate my, my emotions and things going on. So I'm still learning, but it's because of Jana expressing from a good place, like what she needs and, and, and doing the therapy and doing the work together and individually that I'm like, okay, I got to relearn and retrain myself how to have these discussions. Otherwise, what are we doing in our marriage? And you got a good girl right there, Jana. You're, you've been a friend in my head for quite some time. Um, so I'm just going to say, how are you doing? You know, if I'm just being totally honest, I think I'm just like, you know, the stresses of the world, the anxiety, like, you know, just like trying to figure it out, like being a mom, like the, the different seasons and like, it's just, it's a lot, but I mean, I'm happy. I'm enjoying it. It's just like, sometimes I feel like moms, we just like, people just take, 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 take and take. And it's hard to like refill our own tank sometimes. I mean, I think for us, we've, we've done a decent job at keeping each other in, in check on being too serious with the whole quarantine thing where at one point we just kind of let it go. Yeah, for, for about two, three months, we just let our house go. It was a ball pit. It was just like, I mean, yeah, shantytown. And then, and then the third month, I was like, get it up. Get it out. Get yeah, so, so I'm like, Ugh. we didn't quarrel over that. We just had fun with it. We're yeah. just like, you know what? Let's just add to it. Like pillows on the ground, mattresses, just, every, you know what I mean? Just like, let's have fun because we were losing our minds too. Yeah, like one of the hallways was like a Mission Impossible. We put tape up on the like, you know, for the kids to like, like laser beams, like trying to get through mm -hmm. it. So that was fun. Okay, so I'm okay. going to ask you guys questions. You have to close your eyes and you either point to yourself or to your partner to answer it. Okay. Who is more romantic? Oh, who cooks better? Who snores? <laughs> who spends more money? Who has the craziest family? Hmm. <laughs> Don't answer that one. <laughs> <Don't> answer that. <laughs> Probably my <laughs> We'll cut that one. That's awesome. You guys are 
so great. <laughs> Before I let you go, I do want to talk about your podcast because it is fantastic. Everybody's got to listen to it. Um, yeah, our podcast is called Wind Down on our Heart Radio. Um, we love doing it. It's fun. We've got a lot of um, get a lot of couples on there. We Nothing's off limits. Feedback. Nothing's off limits. There, we talk to anyone and everyone. Yeah. Um, you know, always try to relate it around relationships and get people to open up about struggles they deal with because we love to get that feedback from fans that we're able to give them that. Yeah, we're just trying to keep it real. Yeah, and I think that just brings it perfectly back to the book because, as I said before, you guys are an open book with everything. And I think the only way that we can all learn and get better in our own personal lives and relationships is if people are honest and real about what actually goes on. So I encourage everybody to read the book, listen to the podcast, follow you guys on social media because you are the best. And 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 now no longer friends in my head. Actually, hey, friends. Hey, now we're like official besties. So cheers, love you, thank you, babe. I appreciate you. <laughs>